I was asked for a second opinion regarding dental treatment. The treatment that was advised was root canal treatment and crowning and bridging work. So I want to know why the root canal treatment because that is removal of the nerve and blood supply to the tooth. So the possible reason for going for that is pain in the tooth because of infection. If not, it could have been because of sensitivity due to extreme wear and tear to the teeth. So if these are not the case, there is chance that when the dentist takes an x-ray, he realizes that the nerve is placed really high abnormally near the surface of the tooth. When he is going for crowning and bridging work, there is chance of nerve damage causing pain. So to avoid all that, intentionally a root canal treatment could be planned and executed. So in extreme cases, when we are missing teeth in our mouth, the remaining teeth, there is chance of moving out of alignment. So when we are going for bridging, we have to get it back in alignment. The only way is to shape the teeth. So when we are shaping the teeth, there is chance of nerve getting damaged over here also. So intentionally a root canal treatment is planned and executed before starting the crowning and bridging work. So when I asked regarding all this possible reason, he had no such problems. The dentist did not take an x-ray as well. So the only other reason for him getting a root canal treatment could be as a precaution. So why as a precaution? So if you think about it historically, fear and anxiety has always been associated to the dental clinic. So we generally don't seek treatment till the last moment. So that is not a healthy practice, but that's the way it is. So even the dentist wants to keep you absolutely comfortable right from the time you enter the clinic. So when you sit in the dental chair, probably as a pain management, you're going to receive a local anesthetic shot. This is a pain management technique. There are various advances. Painless dentistry popularly advertised everywhere. It is a boon when we are considering many dental treatments. But in this particular case, when we are going to go for crowning and bridging, it might not be the best way to go because here we are going to remove the tooth structure at least 1.5 millimeter all around the tooth so the entire enamel surrounding the tooth is going to go one millimeter and that's when we are going to start feeling sensitive when we start working on the dentin so here you're going to indicate the sensitivity to the dentist and he makes a mental calculation that he has removed one millimeter and all he requires is 0.5 millimeter more and he's going to go ahead cautiously avoiding the nerve and getting this 0.5 millimeter additional reduction if you have received a local anesthetic shot, this advantage is totally lost. So I would never advise getting a local anesthetic shot. Even receiving a root canal treatment, thinking long term, forget scientifically. Even logically speaking, cutting off the nutrition supply to the tooth forever, do you think it is the right way to go? We need our teeth to stay healthy, not just for a couple of years, for a long time, at least 30 to 40 years if you are my age and even more if you are younger than me. So getting a root canal treatment just to avoid a minor possibility of sensitivity after receiving crown and bridge treatment might not be the right way to go because what you have to understand is this sensitivity is going to go away the moment you receive a crown on top of the tooth. So if it does not go away immediately, at least after a few weeks because the tooth has a reparative capacity which is going to take effect and one fine day you're going to realize that the sensitivity is gone. This is what happens in most of the cases. Only in a minority of cases it, this doesn't happen and the sensitivity persists. Then probably the crown has to be broken and then we have to do root canal treatment and get a crown done again. But because of that, if you're going to do root canal treatment for all the teeth, just as a precaution to avoid this minor possibility of temporary sensitivity happening, would I do this for my parents or my siblings sitting in my dental chair? I would definitely not be doing that. So all you have to do is show a little bit more tolerance and patience during the dental treatment and after that so that the dentist can make the best decision of probably not giving even a local anesthetic shot or getting a root canal treatment done for you. I want all of us to have strong and healthy teeth for long, long time. So stay happy and healthy. I will see you in the next video. Thank you.